Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, I want to do a new series, but I don't really know how else to do this, but it just so happens both of these bands hail from Finland and have the word Demi in their title. So, not going off of the demos. Just throwing that out there. Full length only. We're blasting Demi Lich Nest Pet, or the spine, or the penis, and also the mighty demigod with the absolute classic Finnish death metal gem, Slumber of Sullen Eyes, Svart Records, Extremely Rotten. But we're going to be listening to both, and it's all a matter of preference. Both bands are fucking amazing. They kind of, to me, represent Finnish death metal for the most part. But we're not going over demo material because I'm sorry, the Demilich demos. You can't fuck with the four instructive tales of decomposition. I'm sorry, you can't. You just can't do it. So, yeah. This is a emptiness of vanishing, vanishing of emptiness. Svart Records and Ink Lesions did the cover art, which is David from Extremely Rotten Productions. Clear vinyl. But I said I wouldn't talk about the demos. So, Nest Pet. Alright, when it comes to technical death metal. Come on. It doesn't get much better than Nest Pet. To me, this says it all. Oh wait, it's on... The... See, this is why having multiple formats of the same release is cool sometimes. I don't have to break out the demo compilation to show you this famous Forget Sweden Punishing Techno Grind with original vocals from Finland's premier death metal outfit. The debut album by Finland's Demi Lich. Demi Lich. Demi Lich. Demi Lich. Depends on how you pronounce your Dungeons and Dragons titles, but. When I saw Demi Lich, Auntie said, Hello, we're Demi Lich. Lich. He didn't say Lick, he said Lich. But whatever, I don't care. I'm not the pronunciation police. But originally released in 1993 by Necropolis Records, re released in 1996 by Repulse Records and re-released in 2009 by Extreme Music. And this is the 2018 Extremely Rotten Productions reissue, which I consider e fuck essential because I feel like every other cassette reissue has been just like, I don't know. Like, this came on this gnarly pro tape and stuff. It sounds ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like. I know my microphone sucks, but extremely rotten. We're getting these really nice, gnarly pro tapes, and you got. See, that's like an original, like Demi Lich demo logo with the two skulls. It's just fucking. Cool. And it sounds great. Also, another ERP release that used these shells is probably, I feel, it might be one of the most underrated Wendigang releases. And that might be because it was, this was kind of hard to get. But I don't mean to get off topic, but. It's just, 
I don't, it, I'd rather have the tape than the 7 inch, honestly. This sounds fucking so huge on cassette. This along with Durden Lager Alasar, two of the best Winda Gang releases. But again, this isn't about Winda Gang or Extremely Rotten. I just wanted to show you. These tapes are no fucking joke. Like, they sound amazing. I don't know why, but they just fucking do. So, Demilich, Nespeth, when it comes to technical death metal, it honestly doesn't get much better. Also, memorable. When it comes to a lot of tech death, I don't find it memorable. It kind of gets boring, but here... You have just 11 tracks of some of the most interesting and just gnarly death metal with a technical edge, maybe ever. Like, seriously, I'm not even fucking joking. There's an entire subgenre of uh, Demi Ghoul, or is it, no, is it Time? Wait, it's a mix of Time Ghoul and Demi Lich. It's Demi Ghoul. Like, if you're in a demi ghoul band, like, for example, and I mean, again, no offense, but like, uh, even early Blood Incantation, like, one of the reasons I really loved Interdimensional Extinction, it kind of sounded like a, gr a, a mix of Time Ghoul and like Demi Lich. And it just was fucking so cool with like a little bit of Morbid Angel sprinkled in. It was just so awesome and a band like nucleus they do it really well also where demigod play a little bit more straightforward death metal but it's no fucking joke like i'm gonna stick to the cassettes here but let me rewind slumber real quick and talk a little bit more about nespeth because it's just legitimately one of the best death metal records ever and i'm not sure if svart still has copies but if they do for real i know hell's headbangers carries svart svart's based out of finland the shipping's not too expensive but still it's international shipping so just keep that in mind so i would you know shop around first because a lot of distros have this because to me this is a release that should never be not in print you know like the first three cannibal corpse records maybe the first four cannibal corpse records i feel like should always be in print when it comes to vinyl because they're gonna sell you know what i mean like but when it comes to something like this, I mean, in the underground, yeah, of course it's going to sell. But is it going to sell on the level of Cannibal Corpse? No. I, I hate to say it, but no. As popular as Demi Lich has gotten off a single record and a handful of demos from the 90s, like, please don't, I like, as much as I love Demi Lich, I don't really need a new album. Like, I know Anti has a different project and stuff, so, like, I don't know. Part of me just wants the legacy to stay where it is, but then when Abhorrence did their last mini LP, I fucking loved it, but I didn't hear a single person talk about it. But onto this fucking monster now this i don't know what influenced more bands demilich nespeth or demigod slumber of sullen eyes because this like i said it's a little bit more straightforward but you'll i know my microphone sucks but you'll understand as soon as the the tunes start or if you just look this up if you're a fan of like uh two mold like 
you're gonna love this band. This is the Smart Free issue, 2022. And today's video goes out to uh, best wishes to Miss Hewitt. Um, trying to think, uh, yeah, just best wishes. Sending good vibrations your direction. Now, it's a lot more just oh, they like just straightforward, pummeling death metal. This is a real nice reissue. The tape sounds great. Twelve tracks. This was a long wait for this pre-order, and it was fucking worth it. it. It's so good! Like that fucking... That riff. Ah! Oh. Riff for days. But, like, from bands like Gate Creeper to... You'll find a demigod influence like on so many bands. But nobody does it this good. Like it's sinister, like evil sounding. I fucking love this shit, man. Death metal rules. As much as I love, you know, all sorts of music, you can't fuck with death metal sometimes. But real quick, I have to get this. I want to read you the hype sticker from both releases. The crown jewel of Finnish death metal. Slumber of Sullen Eyes 1992 reissued in a band approved new edition. Features a booklet <clears throat> with a lengthy article about the band by Hippo Tatial plus visual memorabilia. You know, the huge poster's ridiculous. By Rob Smith, the original cover artist, creating a new version of the album cover for the new millennium, but Spark is cool as shit and kept the original art on the actual record, and the poster has the alternative. Again, I wish more record labels did this. Because sometimes it's just a bummer when you get something and the cover's different, but like, I wouldn't really be, like, the alternative cover here on the poster is amazing. But I'm glad they kept the original and gave you the poster. Fucking sick, right? Especially considering how fucking good this record is. Again, though, it's up to you. It's all a matter of taste. Like, again, Demigod Slumber is a lot more straightforward than Demi Lich Nest Pet. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love straightforward death metal way more than I like technical death metal, but there's certain technical death metal bands that just 
make me happy and do it. So, like, Blood Incantation, one of my favorite fucking bands, you know? But this whole oral history of Demigod, no fucking joke. Look at that print. It's like those Nuclear War Now, you know, booklets with a lot less pictures. Like, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of sick photos and shit, but, like, if you know what I'm talking about, like, the last Beharit reissue was so goddamn insane. And there's some more stuff. But yeah, here's a few, uh, oh, look, they're playing with one another. That's fucking stupid. I would love to see Demigod with fucking Demi Lich. It would be like one of the sickest shows ever. Seriously. But it really depends on your taste in death metal. They're both amazing records. They both belong in your collection. If you're a fan of Finnish death metal, I feel like along with, you know, this demo, and the 1990 demo, the um, Iron Corpse reissue of Cranial Torment has the 1990 demo on it. Yo. Fucking awesome. Because Cranial Torment, sick and all, but then I, I like the 1990 demo a little bit better. If, if that's blasphemy, I'm sorry. But... The choice is yours at the end of the day. The straight up heavy, gnarly, atmospheric fucking coolness of Demigod. With, with brutality, of course. Or, you know, the gurgling technicality and heaviness of Demilich with Nespeth. To me, it's up to you. But in my pick, I'm going with Demi Lich and Nespeth. It's just one of my favorite albums ever. I really work. Like, I'm not even joking. I, it took me a long time to get these two releases. Thanks to reissues. Like the 2018 reissue really was a big deal. But the fact that Demi Lich can play like a whole sold out fucking US tour still off a of 1993 full length and some demos, it again shows the, it goes to show you the Finnish death metal scene in the early 90s was no fucking joke. And like in 1992, I actually have a cassette demo of the Echo. But Demi Lich did, excuse me, somewhere inside the bowels of endlessness in 92, uh, the echo. And also, you need to listen to Regurgitation of Blood, because it's just one of the fucking sickest things ever. And Uncontrollable Regret of the Rotting Flesh, that song, amazing. So, if you're gonna, if you're new to Demi Lich, you need to... Honestly, try and get both of these. Nespeth and the demo compilation. Vanishing, emptiness of vanishing, vanishing of emptiness, but it's all like spelled weird and shit. So just go to the Svart Records website. Now for Demigod, same thing. Svart Records did the last reissue comes with the booklet, lyrics, everything, the poster came in there, it's just an amazing reissue on vinyl, the cassette sounds fucking amazing as well, the magnetics are strong with this one, just like the Demi Lich Nespeth tape. 
it just sounds fucking great, man. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. But, yeah, just a nice professional white pro tape. Sounds great. Looks great, you know? No, like, gimmicks. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this... I'm glad it's, like, nice. Like, look how crispy that is. Like, you know, it would be cool to have, like, a, a, a see-through green cover. So, like, it would, imagine if this looked like this. But then, part of me is, like, no, I really like how clean and crispy this looks. But, like, you know, this would... Because the vinyl, especially the color of the vinyl, matches the fetid tape, like, perfectly. But, I honestly... Like, what do you prefer? The disgusting green, which is awesome, and I love it, don't get me wrong, but look at how clean and crispy that is. Like, they're both fucking sick, and they both serve their purpose, because this is a demo, and this is a reissue of a classic in fucking Finnish death metal, and death metal in general, so... I'm glad Svart went the kind of classy route here, honestly. Because it looks like super fucking classy. Like, if I didn't know this was a death metal band, I wouldn't know this could be anything. But also, the cassette gives you kind of uh, everything, almost everything you need. Not as obviously, not as gnarly as information. But you get some cool photos, lyrics. Thank you lists, all that good shit. But, um, you know, the original 1992 LP by Drowned Productions. I'm not sure how much that goes for, and I don't care. I'm not one of those people that need a first press to own something. If you're one of those people and you think these reissues are like blasphemy, also, like, let me know, because I want to just know why. Outside of just being a collector, I want to know, like, because I have, like, an original version of Bathory, The Return, and, like, part of me, like, wants to get a reissue, and the other part, like, I kind of like how it's, like, it's kind of poppy, and it just, it just sounds old, and kind of like, all, like, my old Black Sabbath records, like, they're all, like, first press shit, like, if you've seen my Sabbath videos, all except volume volume four was straight up, uh, and I think my Master of Reality was the reissue because it was like 180 grams, and I know my volume four was because it was a double LP on like yellow vinyl. But these 12 tracks right here, some of the best in death metal history, Slumber of Sullen Eyes. Like it says, the crown jewel of Finnish death metal. That's an opinion, but it's a very strong opinion. There's a lot of really gnarly bands to come out of Finland, and we're going off of full-length albums. So, Demigod versus Demi Lich. I'm going with Demi Lich. Okay? But, if we're going demos, this is a whole different ball game, and even full-lengths. Like, I didn't want to pull out convulse skepticism, you know. I don't. I actually don't. I don't have Stormcrow Fleet, so I couldn't do that. Fuck, I <laughs> just realized that. But yeah, when it comes to Finnish death metal, also I would say World Without God by Convulse. You need this in your life as well. This is another one. If you're a fan of like Tomb Mode. Yeah, early Tomb Mode especially. Real quick, I'll read you the hype sticker. Deluxe limited band approved remastered edition of this cult slab of old school finished death metal in a massive slipcase with the cult demo Resuscitation of Evilness on disc slash LP2. This is the first time these tracks have ever been cut to vinyl. To me, that was reason enough to get this. Because, again, I know I said I wouldn't talk about demos, but Convulse have one of my favorite demos ever right here on vinyl. And again, if you're going to place an order from Svart, you might as well 
grab Convulse World World Without God. I don't know if they have the double LP set, but like yo, both are on like gnarly wax. And this 1990 demo, it's just one of the best ever. But again, I didn't want to get it, get into finished demos because we will be here all day talking about what's sick and you know all that. Cause like right, right there, you know, like Z like Zizma sentenced. There's so much sick shit. Like you know, we could again be here forever. But here's a show with death. That's fucking awesome. I early convulse with death. Fuck yeah. But World Without God's another just finished classic in my opinion. I just real quick wanna. I forget what 1991 was world without god was just making sure the year so very influential records all three of these but you know the choice is yours but again all three of these are reissued on vinyl through svart so svart is a international label slash distro so it might honestly be cheaper to grab like two or three or even four LPs because it will justify the shipping and everything. So, you know, it's worth it. But in my battle here, Demi Lich will stand victorious with Nest Pep. Because I also hear like something new almost every time I listen to this bad boy. And some of the songs are just so ridiculous. And I fucking love it. Like, this actually says, like, no lyrics or something. <laughs> or there are no lyrics. I, I forget. There's, like, some real cool little Easter eggs in here. I love it. So, thanks again for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Again, my best wishes go to Elizabeth Hewitt. Sorry for your loss. Thanks again for watching. You fucking rule. Hail. And a moment of silence for Liz's mother. Alright. Have a good one. Hail.